Sundays, they have um, a rotating teacher schedule. And um, of course, uh, I, I want to teach, on, like they want me to teach on Sundays. I want to teach on Sundays. I have this class and I love this class and this is my class. So it's like, I'll teach one Sunday there every month. I'll teach the last Sunday of each month at Mosaic. So just FYI, you can know that just for future, unless something's different, something else is going on or I'm out of town or something like that. But usually the last Sunday of each month, I'll be teaching at Mosaic. So it will be nine o'clock power, nine to 10, 15, and then 10, 30 um, restore, or it's called Zen out. So just a softer class. So you're welcome to stay for both classes. You're welcome to come for just the one. If you don't know where it is, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Let's practice. Let's do it. All right, go ahead and start in child's pose today. So find your way into your variation of child's pose, whatever feels good in your body. I personally like to take my knees out wider than my hips, big toes touch. And then hips rest back towards your heels, forehead rest down on your mat. If you wanna keep your knees together, if you wanna just explore somewhere in between, take a moment to do so. You don't need to settle into stillness right away. So if you want to kind of move your hips from side to side or roll your head from side to side, go for it. And then eventually do allow the ground to just hold all of your weight. So settling in, finding stillness. And just notice everything there is to notice in the here and now. So notice the ground underneath you, the air around you, the temperature, the texture. Notice the sounds. The sounds in this room, sound of my voice, sound of the music. And then also just the background noise, sounds in the gym, kind of white noise. So noticing it all, just expanding your awareness. And then notice what's going on inside of you. So emotions that might be present, just energetically, how does your body feel? Physical sensations that are there. Next time you breathe in, very intentionally fill up as big as you can. So feel that breath travel all the way down into your low belly, low back. And then big side, just let it go, breathe it out. Ah. Do that a couple more times. So inhale, fill up. Imagine you can breathe into your fingertips, into your toes, hold in fullness. And then when you're ready, big exhalation, release, let it go. Ah. One more time. So biggest inhale you've taken all morning long. Take that pause in fullness. See if you can even sip in a little bit extra. And when you're ready, just big sigh, let it go. Good, you guys. Seal your lips now and begin to cultivate ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. So each inhale is just like you're taking a really deep, slow motion gas. Each exhale is like you're fogging up a window with your lips sealed over the breath. So take a moment here to just connect with that big, spacious inhale and exhale, rise and fall, expansion and contraction. So just feeling into it. Whenever you are ready to start moving, 
Take that breath with you. Rise up to hands and knees. Begin to explore in any way that feels good. So you might start with some cat cows. You might move into some hip circles. You might come all the way forward towards a cobra or up dog position. Yeah, you might sit up into a kneeling position, stretch your arms to the sky. There's about a million ways you can explore from your hands and your knees. So get as creative and as intuitive as possible. Maybe close your eyes. So try in this moment to let go of how you look. It's the opposite of how we experience our everyday lives. So you're not thinking your way through, you're feeling your way through from the inside, from your body. It's an embodiment practice. So put your awareness in your spine, put your awareness in your shoulders, in your hips. Give yourself about four or five more breaths, just moving around in your own way. Even think of getting really primal, really instinctual, like you're a four-legged creature, a four-legged animal. And then eventually take it back into our first downward facing dog. So absolutely no rush. You can get there in your own time and your own way. <clears throat> Nice job, everybody. Good movement. So really feel into your hands. Even as you move back into your down dog, spread your fingers wide. It's like you're gripping the ground with the pads of your fingertips. And then as you push down through your fingers, see if you can find space through your shoulders. So roll your shoulders out away from your ears. And then lift from your center, from your belly button. So like I always talk about, imagine you've got that rope. It's invisible. It's attached to your belly button, nice team. And it's pulling up towards the ceiling. It's tugging towards the top corner of the back wall. So even if you need to bend your knees a lot, see if you can lift your sit bones, lift your butt really high and press it back. Lengthen through your spine, your side bodies. Breathe into all that length, all that space. So you're not just here hanging out mindlessly, waiting for this pose to be over. You're here in your down dog, taking big, deep breaths, finding deeper awareness inside. I'm sorry, guys. Take one more big, huge inhale. So fill up as big as you can. As you exhale, gaze to the top of your yoga mat and however you want to get there, forward fold. So you can step, tiptoe, hop. Once you are in your forward fold, just give yourself a moment. If you want, take a ragdoll pose, grab opposite elbows. If you'd like, you can also bring your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers at the base of your skull the back of your neck some traction. Maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you bob up and down. Good, and then feel those big deep breaths, even visualize them. Imagine you can breathe all the way up your spine, all the way down the backs of your legs. So just let your breath wash over you here. Nice work, friends. Next time you inhale, find your way into a halfway lift position. So spine parallel to the ground. Get all the rounding out of your back. Shoulder blades hug towards your spine. Exhale, fold and bow. Nice, Mikey. Do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. So top of your head reaches forward. Stick your butt out behind you, even if you have to bend your knees. Exhale, let it go. Fold. Now from the press of your feet, come through your halfway lift. So lead with your heart, rise, inhale, reach up and stretch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Flowing with your breath, high mountain, breathe in, stretch, pause. 
See if you can lean with your heart, slow dive down. So hinge at your hips, lengthen your spine, then fold. Good, final extension with your inhale. Forward fold, exhale, let it go. Ah. Root through your feet, heart leads all the way up. Inhale, try to touch the sky, reach. Hands to heart, exhale. One more round, just like that. Make it a moving meditation. Inhale, reach up. Follow your breath down. So take the entire length of your exhale. Traction out your spine, then release. Beautiful job. Breathe in, spinal extension. Ardha Uttanasana, nice, Eric. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. From the press of your feet, lead with your heart all the way up. Inhale, reach and stretch. Nice pause. Hands to heart center as you exhale. All right, inhale, take your arms to the sky. Side body stretch of your choice over to the right. So maybe right hand to your right hip. Maybe you interlace your fingers. Maybe you grab your left wrist. Maybe a yin yang variation. So lots of options. Just work the length in your left side body. Root down firmly into your left foot, especially the inner edge. And if you want, you can even reach your right tip toes out to the right or try to balance on your left foot. Just don't lose that stretch in your left side. So that's your number one intention is to create space there. Take one more round, one more great, big, massive breath, reach. Inhale back to center, realign. And then your variation to make any adjustments you need to, other side, up and over. So think of this as not just a stretch through your upper body, but it's initiated with your lower body. So hips move towards the right side of the room as your upper body reaches for the left. Yeah, most of your weight in your right foot, inner edge especially, if you wanna reach your left toes out or try balancing, go for it. Breathe into your left rib cage, or excuse me, your right rib cage, your right waistline. See if you can breathe even bigger than you thought you could. Awesome, M. Take one more round. As you breathe in, come back to center. Both feet on the ground. Exhale, hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. If you want more, it will be more intense. Press your palms together and steeple your index fingers towards the ground. Keep a little bend in your elbows, everybody, and try to squeeze your elbows towards one another. Now, if you can, start to reach your hands back. Maybe add a little back, bend, lift your heart up and knuckles down. Press your hips forward as you hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more in breath. Keep your clasp, hinge at your hips. Exhale, slow dive down, forward fold. Hang out here for about three rounds. So if it would feel better, you guys, take your feet out a little bit wider or bend your knees a lot more. See if you can let your head be heavy, shake it yes or no. See if you can lift higher through your knuckles and then higher through your sit bones. Very nice, you guys. One more huge inhale. Thanks, Jamie. Exhale, hands to your low back, release your clasp. Let your arms hang for a moment. You can shake them out gently. Next time you breathe in, find your halfway lift, realign. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank or modified plank, top of a push up. So pause here for a moment. Make sure your fingers are spreading really wide. Good, Patricia. Push the ground away. So right now you should feel all your arm muscles firing. You don't want your weight just sinking into your elbows or your wrists. Start to take little baby rocks forward and back. So just like you're sawing through a piece of wood with your body, nothing changes in your position. It's just an inch or so of movement back and forth. Nice, Ben. Next time you inhale, find that little rock forward. You can come to your knees if you want to modify. Exhale, lower halfway down, hover. Strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, press up, high plank. 
Do that one more time. Nice, Caleb. Exhale, halfway down. Strong arms. Don't let your belly sink. Inhale, push up, high plank. Slow as you can possibly go. All the way down one strong, straight line. Good. Spider-Man, Cobra. You can modify on hands and knees, Bailey, if you want. Inhale, lift your heart. And then as you exhale, twist to your left side. Dip your left shoulder down. Inhale, back to center. Press into your fingertips. Elbow stays up. Exhale, other side. Twist. Go one more time each direction. Nice work. Inhale, center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder as you twist. Move at your own pace. Feel into your shoulder girdle, into your front body, back body, side bodies. Eventually an inhale will bring you back to center. You can stay there for as long as feels right to you. However you want to make the transition, downward facing dog as you are ready. So just transition mindfully. Once you are back in your down dog, about five big spacious breaths. So feel free to move around to explore your down dog or just find stillness. Focus on your breath moving through you. Maybe focus on those really tiny micro adjustments. So the ones I can't see, but you feel them on the inside. It can be as simple as just pressing into your thumbs and index a little bit more. Finding an external rotation in your shoulders, engaging through your core, finding that connection to center. So I can't see if you can feel that, but you know, you feel it. So keep exploring, keep getting curious, keep having those little light bulb moments. Take one more big inhale into your down dog. So you are always a student. I am always a student. Exhale, gaze forward, step or float, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. How much length can you create? So even this pose, feel into it. So much length more than ever before. Let it go, fold. Root through your feet, take it all the way to stand. Arms reach up as you inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, my friends, let's build our flow. Inhale, reach up high. And then as you exhale, step your right foot off the right side of your mat. All 10 toes face forward. You're gonna bend your knees, stick your butt out and reach your arms forward. So spine is parallel to the ground. Yes, perfect. Spine parallel to the ground. And then think of pressing your arms up and pressing your chest down at the same time. Weight in your heels, see if you can pick up your toes and spread them, take one more round. Nice, Chris, inhale back to center, high mountain, so stretch it out, step onto your mat. Other side as you're ready, left foot to the left. Same thing, make sure your feet are parallel, butt goes back, reach forward. It's like you're trying to touch your butt to the back wall and your fingertips to the front wall. Press your chest down and arms up. See if you can turn your palms to face one another like you're holding something in between your hands. Now soften your face. See if you can lengthen through the back of your neck. Don't strain through your neck. One more round. Beautiful, friends. Inhale, high mountain. So come up and stretch. Exhale, baby, back bend. Cactus your arms. Open your heart. Bottom tips of shoulder blades squeeze. Inhale, re-extend, realign. So reach up. Stick your butt out behind you, slow swan dive. Bend your knees a lot if it feels better. Breathe into your spinal extension, spine parallel to the earth, to the horizon. Exhale, plant your hands, feet to the back of your mat. Take your vinyasa however you would like. So vinyasa in Western yoga at least, it's just that action. My teacher says it, they just mean high to low push-up, lifting your heart, finding your heart opener, and then taking it back to down dog. So however you want to go through that, or you can always skip it. You can substitute cat and cow. So just finding your way back to downward facing dog, and then reconnecting to your ujjayi breath. 
Good. Next time you inhale, take your right leg to the sky. So three-legged dog, press down through your fingertips, press up through your right foot. And today, I don't really care what you wanna do with your right leg. So if it feels good to open your hip, if it feels good to roll out your ankle, go for it. If you wanna hold here, make your right leg strong, powerful. Maybe find that connection to center. There's so much you can explore just in this one position. Nice, Ingrid. You guys look so good. Nice work. Take one more inhale. Stretch your right leg super long. See if you can even spread through your toes. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So round your back. Curl in. Stay here as you breathe in and lift through your waistline. Push the ground away. Nice, Sandy. Exhale, step your right foot through. Low lunge. Take just a moment and move your legs. In your own way. So just feeling into your hips, your hamstrings. Back knee can come down. Front leg can work towards straight. All you have to do is close your eyes, put your awareness in your legs, and send your breath there. So it can be super simple. Rather than getting into your mind, get into your body. Take a couple more breaths. Crescent lunge is our destination. So you can start transitioning whenever you'd like. Front knee over front ankle, high on the ball of your back foot. Rise up and settle in. So try to make your back leg and your back foot very strong and powerful. So your back heel is lifted high and then energetically pull your front hip back, back hip forward. And then once you're pulling front hip back, back hip forward, see if you can press your back heel a little closer towards the ground. Lift your heart a little higher. You might feel more of a stretch in the front of your left hip. Maybe, maybe not. Just notice what's there. So this pose that you've done hundreds of times before, what can you notice that's different today? Take one more inhale, lift your heart up. Reach through your fingertips, gaze up. Exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh and just lean forward. So a diagonal line from the top of your head back to your heel. Now draw your belly button in and up. Imagine you're trying to puff up just through your low back. So feel that connection to center that you have as you draw your belly button towards your spine. Try to keep it and then lean forward, back foot floats off the ground. Keep pressing your hands into your thigh Keep drawing your belly button in and up. Imagine you're stomping your foot on the back wall. So make your back leg strong, active. Stay where you're at or option to add some arms. Maybe arms out to the sides, maybe arms forward, maybe hands to heart. Say one more round. Yes, just playing with your balance. Come back to crescent lunge, soft landing if possible. Nice job, arms reach up, breathe in. Uh, exhale, hands to the earth. Beautiful, you guys. Now root into your right foot. Listen here and just step your back foot forward. Nice and easy. Forward fold. All right. Big toes touch. Little gap in between your heels. Halfway lift position. Breathe in. Exhale, bow and fold in. Chair pose, so bend your knees, weight in your heels, sit your butt back, lift your heart. Good, so I like big toes touching and inner thighs squeezing for this variation. If this bothers your knees and you wanna bring your feet further apart, totally fine with me. Lift your heart up, hug the bottom tips of your shoulder blades towards your spine. Take one more big inhale. Now, as you exhale, swing your arms back, but keep your heart lifted. Stay here or see if you can float up to your tiptoes. Yeah, squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your inner knees. Good, keep your heart lifted. See if you can bend your knees more, get your butt lower. Take one more round. Good, maybe stay on your tiptoes all the way up high mountain reach. Woo. Maybe stay on your tiptoes. Take it down slowly, forward fold. So big balance challenge if you want it. Heels on the ground as you lift up halfway. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, vinyasa. However you want to take it or skip it all together, go straight back to down bow. All right, inhale, left leg to the sky, stretch it out. So pressing through your fingertips, lengthening through your left leg. And if your hips are square, you guys, what you are doing right now is a warrior three, but you're just on your hands. So think of this position, it's the exact same thing you're gonna do in a moment. Press up with your left foot, press down through your fingertips and find that connection to center. Feel it here, start to create that muscle memory. If there's any little exploring you wanna do, you're welcome to. Make sure your breath is there, slow, steady, spacious. Take one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, round. Stay here as you breathe in, push the ground away. And step forward softly, low lunge. Take a moment, move around, whatever calls to you. So rather than going up in your mind and going, oh no, I'm supposed to do something and she's not gonna tell me what to do, what should I do? Go into your body, close your eyes. You don't even have to move at all. Just put your awareness in your legs as if your energy is all right there. What do you feel? What do you notice? you're doing a meditation where you put your awareness in your legs that's what you're doing right now so explore that get curious about that yes very nice couple more rounds and then crescent lunge nice job friends front knee over front ankle high on the ball of your back foot yeah, so find first your big spacious lunge and then hug in. So front hip pulls back, back hip pulls forward. You feel super sturdy in your legs. So don't feel deep and wobbly, you feel strong. It's your strong foundation. And your upper body is your unique expression. So lift your heart, maybe lift your gaze, maybe spread your fingers. So energetically what's inside of you let it start to show on the outside. Take one more big inhale here. As you exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh, lean forward. So rather than thinking of rounding your spine, think of rounding just your low back, but keeping your shoulders nice and broad as much as you're able to your upper back nice and broad. So it's like you're puffing up through your low back and I want you to feel that connection to center. I want you to keep that connection to center as you move into your balance. So lean forward, back foot floats up, belly button pulls in and up. That's gonna help you balance. Yes, press with your back foot. So if your back leg feels like it weighs a million pounds, it shouldn't, use the muscles there. Maybe add some arms. Awesome, you guys. Take one more huge breath, your fullest expression. Very nice, good Eric. Come back to your crescent, soft landing if possible. Arms reach up, lift your heart up. Exhale, hands to the ground. Super simple today, just step forward. This time, big toes touch, little gap in between your heels and we're gonna tuck and curl. So find your tiny little potato bug ball. Butt towards the ground, nose towards your knees. And you can either intentionally lift your heels up or intentionally press your heels down. Option to wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a great big squeeze. If you feel like you can't lift your hands, but you wanna give yourself a big squeeze, fingertips on the ground, cross your wrists one in front of the other, and then squeeze in from there. So get as compact as you can with your exhales. Take one more breath. Nice work. Halfway lift, heels down, spine long. Breathe in. Exhale, bow, fold in. Ah. Root through your feet, rise all the way to stand. Arms to the sky as you inhale. 
either hands to heart center or arms down by your sides, palms open. So stand here for a moment with your eyes closed, feeling into your body. So from the inside, feel your feet against the ground. See if you can root down more firmly, even imagine that you're growing roots out of the soles of your feet, connecting to the earth. And then from that place, can you get taller, draw up through the crown of your head, broaden through your shoulders. Nice and neutral through your pelvis, through your spine, and just feel how it feels to stand with total awareness. Breathe slow, steady. As we flow through that, that sequence a couple more times, bring in some sort of intention for how you want to move through it, something that resonates for you. It could be one word, compassion, love, playful. It could be an idea, a feeling, a person you wanna dedicate your practice to if that makes sense for you today. So just focus in on that. Take one more huge inhale and breathe that intention into all the little spaces inside of you. Pull. Big, huge exhale out your mouth. Let it go. Ha. Embodying your personal intention. Ujjayi breath, arms to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, step your right foot to the right and get low, butt back, arms forward. Weight is in your heels. Inhale, get high, reach up. So flowing breath to movement, other side. Exhale, stick your butt out. Keep your spine long as you reach. Inhale, rise, find mountain. Now open your heart as you exhale intentionally. Bottom tips of shoulder blades squeeze. Inhale, re-extend, realign. So feel that alignment in your body as you reach up. Stick your butt out, take it all the way down, slow dive, forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, feeling into how you want to move today. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart, nice and Exhale, lift your hips, down dog. Great big inhale, take your right leg to the sky, spread your toes. Softly and slowly, right foot steps through, low lunge. Root through your feet, strong legs. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up, reach up, maybe gaze up. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, lean forward, prepare for your balance. And then inhale, float your back foot off the ground. Stay for your exhale, option to add some arms. Nice, Mikey. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. Awesome, heave, soft landing, lift your heart. Exhale, hands to the ground. Now listen, inhale, standing splits, adding it in, left leg high. Exhale, forward fold, step down. Good job, halfway lift position. Lengthen. Exhale, nice Bailey fold. Now listen, chair pose, weight in your heels, lift your heart, reach up. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So swing your arms back, maybe float up to your tiptoes. Maybe stay on tiptoes all the way up high mountain as tall as you can grow. Maybe stay on tiptoes as you dive. Stick your butt out, little bend in your knees all the way down. Nice work, heels on the ground, halfway lift. Big inhale, feel into it. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. Chaturanga. Heart lifts, nice Jossie baby. Shoulders down and back. Hips lift, down dog. Beautiful friends, great big inhale, left leg to the sky. With so much intention, 
softly left foot steps forward, low lunge. Good, rise up to crescent lunge. Strong foundation, your unique expression in your upper body. Exhale, bring your hands to your front thigh, lean forward, draw your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, balance, being playful with it. Stay as you exhale, maybe add some arms, any arms you want. Inhale, back to crescent. Nice work, everyone. Beautiful. Reach up, gaze up. Exhale, hands come down. Now remember, standing splits. We're adding it in. Right leg floats up. Spread your toes. Exhale, straight into your tiny little potato bug ball. So step down, curl in, get small. Halfway lift position, heels down, spine long. Exhale, fold, let it go. Root through your feet, all the way to stand. Arms reach up, gaze up, hands to heart. One more round, just like that. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, right foot to the right, get low. So reach forward, butt goes back. Inhale, reach up high, stretch it out. Other side, left foot steps left, butt goes back. Fingertips reach forward, spine long, yes. Inhale, back to center. Work your back bend. So don't just lean back, feel the muscles around your spine engage as you curl open. Inhale, re-extend, realign, intention as you reach up. Exhale, heart leads all the way down. Breathe in, halfway lift. Even this pose, so much to notice. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float, chaturanga. Heart lifts as you inhale. Nice sandy, hips lift as you exhale, nice M. Great big inhalation, right leg to the sky. Now listen here, exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged, nice Eric. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. So get as high as you can on your right arm. Nice, Jamie, inhale, three-legged, stretch it out. Exhale, knee to your nose, step through, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge, reach up, maybe gaze up, spread your fingers. Nice, Caleb. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, navel to spine. As you inhale, warrior three variation, back foot floats up. Stay for your exhale, add some arms. Yes, nice Jossie, come back to Crescent, soft landing, breathe in, beautiful, exhale, hands to the earth, one more standing split, inhale, left leg high, reach up for your toes, step down, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale, Exhale, let it go. Now wait in your heels, bend your knees, chair pose, heart lifts, reach up. Try to keep your heart lifted, chair plane or drinking bird. So swing your arms back, maybe float to tiptoes. Stay on your tiptoes one more time for your high mountain if you would like. Stay on your tiptoes one more time as you dive down, forward fold. Good. Heels on the ground for your halfway lift. Breathe in. And plant your hands. Nice, Chris. Step or hop back, vinyasa, or straight back to down dog if you'd rather. Heart lift. Hips lift. Good, everybody. Great big inhale. Left leg high. Stick with me. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. So use your obliques, get as close as you can. Inhale, three-legged, back up, stretch and lengthen. 
Left to left, aim high, use your core. Inhale back up. Yes, and last one, knee to your nose, then step through softly. Crescent lunge, one more time, rise, heart lifts, gaze up. Exhale, lean forward, hands to your front thigh, prepare for balance. Warrior three, is there a way you can embody your intention here? Stay as you exhale, feel into it, breathe into it. Inhale back to crescent, soft landing. Beautiful, my friends. Exhale, hands to the earth. Standing splits. One more time, right leg high, spread your toes. Straight into your tiny little potato bug ball. Now listen, we're gonna hang out in our little potato bug ball. If you would like more, you can take toe stand. So you'll squeeze in with your inner heels, inner thighs, inner knees. Point your knees forward towards the front of the room. Bring your hands up to your heart. So just balancing on your tiptoes. The trick is hugging towards midline. So everything hugs in like you're zipping up a zipper through your center. Slow, deep breath, soften your face, unclench your jaw. Yes, very nice, you guys. Couple more. All right, from here, I'm gonna give you some, some options. You can either plant your hands, step your feet back, move through a vinyasa. If you want, plant your hands, play with your crow pose. So work your knees up on your triceps, lift through your waistline. Maybe one or both feet, lift up. See if you can touch your big toes behind you. So it's like a really, really activated child's pose balancing on your hands. <laughs> and then once you've had enough of that, thanks Jossie, either step or if you have a jump back in your practice or you're working on it, you're welcome to go there. Eventually everybody, either down dog, child's pose or hero's pose. So hero's pose is just kneeling position, seated meditation. Find your breath. So if you've lost your breath, totally cool. It's okay. Come back to it right now. Slow, steady. Ah, maybe give yourself a couple big sighs out your mouth. So just noticing the aliveness inside of you. The aliveness of right here, right now. So let everything else fall away. Just feel you. Slow down from the inside out. All right, friends, downward facing dog. So if your wrists are hurting, if your wrists bother you in yoga, Really see if you can start to work the muscles in your hands and your forearms. So spread your fingers actively, press down through your fingertips like you're a gecko holding onto a screen door. So push the ground away. Yes. Now right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Peel your right hip open. So everybody bend your right knee, reach your right knee out to the right and then up towards the ceiling. So it's like your right hip is a hinge on a door. Your right leg is the door and it just swings open. See if you can lift your right knee a little higher by squeezing through your outer right butt cheek. Take one more inhale. Exhale, right knee to your nose. So curl in, round, step your right foot through, low lunge. Rise up into warrior two this time. So back heel pivots down, partly your arms up. So right toes face directly forward, left toes face directly to the left. 
If it feels like your butt is sticking out behind you, you guys all look so good. Wrap your right butt cheek underneath you. So you want your front knee to track towards your pinky toe rather than falling inward. Little tone in your belly. So navel to spine connection. And then shoulders just stack over your hips so it feels like your waist, your weight is nice and centered. Next time you breathe in, reverse your warrior. Front palm rotates up. Reach up, try to touch the ceiling, and then reach back. Try to touch the top corner of the back wall. Bend deeper into your front knee and keep tracking it towards your pinky toe. So right toes face directly forward. Right knee points directly forward. Breathe into your right side. One more big, huge inhale. As you exhale, come back to your warrior two. I'm going to give you the option for a balance. If you don't want a balance, side angle is your modification. So side angle is here. You can all start with it. And then if you want, move into your half moon. So back leg floats up. If you do take half moon, you're welcome to play. So maybe you bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot. Yeah, I see a couple of you taking triangles. So if you're wanting a triangle pose, you could take that as well. Nice job. Awesome, nice Bailey. Back leg strong and powerful. Press with your back foot like you're stomping it onto the back wall. Everybody, heart open, hips open. Take one more round. We're gonna meet back in warrior two. So if you're in the balance, as slowly and as softly as you can. Warrior two position, good. Now everybody straighten your front leg, parallel your feet. All 10 toes face the left side of the room. Arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, stick your butt out behind you, heart forward all the way down, wide-legged forward fold. So big, deep breath. I'm gonna help you. So face forward, toes face directly forward, bend your knee a lot, a lot, and then just hands the ground, try to stick your butt up and your head down. Yeah, that's it. And you can bring your hands up here if you want to sit close better. Just weight forward, not in your heels. And yeah, then lift here like you're, yeah. but you take your feet out wider if it feels okay. Nice job, you guys. You can move around a little if you want. Couple more breaths. Next time you inhale, halfway lift, so fingertips on the ground, bend your knees as much as you need to. Walk your hands to the top of your mat, back to a low lunge, and then back to a high plank. So step your right foot back, plank pose. From here, Vashi Stasana, right hand is your base. Roll onto the baby toe edge of your right foot, left arm to the sky. It's gonna be so much easier if you lift your hips up. So if you lift your hips down, it feels like all of the weight is in your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder. Lift your hips, use your core strength. Maybe take your left arm forward. Yes, maybe float your left leg up and lift your hips even higher. One more huge breath. Awesome job, plank or modified plank. Inhale at the top, spread your fingers, push the ground away. Exhale all the way to your belly. Start low with a baby cobra. So use your back strength to lift rather than your arm strength. Good. Stay low. Move into locust. So float your hands. Reach them back. Float your feet. Reach your toes back. Beautiful. Hug in with your inner thighs. And imagine you're trying to rotate your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Spread your toes. Use your mid-back muscles. Lift, lift, lift. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go. Good work. And rest your head to either side. Feel your belly against the earth. Feel your inhales expand and contract against the ground. If it would feel good to you, you can windshield wiper your shins or shimmy your hips.
And your next two, three, four breaths, downward facing dog, however you want to get there. So, I always say this, but I think it is so, so true, at least for me. This is the time in class where your body is tired, your muscles are fatigued, but your breath, it's like it's brand new every time you take an inhale. So your breath is like your second wind. It's powering you from the inside. If you can figure out how to hone in on your breath in this practice, in my opinion, it changes absolutely everything. So keep exploring that rise and fall, that expansion and contraction. If all you did for this entire class was lay on the ground and breathe with complete intention, I bet that would be one of the most productive 75 minutes of your entire day. So big, spacious breath. Use it. All right, from your downward facing dog with your next big inhalation, take your left leg to the sky. Good. Try not to move through your hands or your shoulders as you peel your hip open. So make it come from your hip joint. Bend your knee, reach your knee out and up. Squeeze through your outer left butt cheek. Imagine you've got a rolled up washcloth behind your left knee and you're trying to squeeze it and wring it out. See if you can lift your left knee even higher. Take one more inhale, lift from your belly button. Exhale, left knee to your nose. So now scoop out your belly. Step your left foot through. Warrior two stance, rise as you're ready. Good, so left toes face directly forward, right toes face directly to the right. If it feels like your butt sticking out and your left knee's falling in, your adjustment, left butt cheek wraps underneath you, press into the outer edges of both feet. So feet so important, root down. Next time you inhale, reverse your warrior, front palm rotates up, reach up, reach back. So this is a side body stretch, not a back bend. Navel to spine connection. Bend your left knee even more, lunge even deeper, and then reach even further through your left fingertips. Breathe into your left waistline, left rib cage. One more inhale. Exhale, back to warrior two. And then let's start with the side angle, everybody. So reach forward, tip it over. Stay in your side angle, or whenever you're ready, you can float up into your half moon. If you want to play with a triangle, you're welcome to go there as well. So side angle, your variation, or half moon, your variation. If you want to bind it, go for it. If your back leg is lifted, strong and powerful. I like to imagine I'm karate kicking with my right leg. So you wouldn't karate kick with this limp, lazy leg. You would make it strong. Yes, heart open, hips open. One more huge breath. Good. And then everybody be back in warrior two. So slowly and softly if possible. Back to warrior two. Straighten out your front leg. Pivot all 10 of your toes to face towards the right side of the room, towards the doors. Arms to the sky, inhale. And then as you exhale, bring your weight towards your toes. Stick your butt out, reach your heart forward. So as you're diving down, make sure your weight's not in your heels. And eventually just let it go. Crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. So I would much rather have your weight forward and your knees bent as you focus on lifting your butt up than your knees locked out and your weight back in your heels and you're surrounding your spine. So really feel the little adjustments that make the hugest difference. I think that's the craziest thing about this practice is you can practice for 50 years and still find something new in down dog. Still find a way to adjust in your wide-legged fold to go deeper, to get more, to be more efficient in your body. So this practice is not about being perfect in every pose. It's not even about learning to do every pose. You don't ever have to be able to do an arm balance or a handstand. It's just about showing up on your mat 
meeting yourself where you are, breathing into that, seeing what can happen. So much possibility. Next time you inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the ground. Walk your hands forward so you're in a low lunge. And then step your front foot back so you're in a plank pose. Side plank, left hand is your base this time. So roll onto the baby toe edge of your left foot. Right arm to the sky. Lift your hips really high. So if your hips are sagging down, this is gonna be such a heavy place to hold yourself. Hips lift, active through your feet. Maybe right arm forward, maybe right leg up. Lift your hips even higher as you lift your right leg. Yes, beautiful, you guys. One more round, your fullest expression. Beautiful poses, plank or modified, inhale at the top. Exhale slowly to your belly. Start low, baby cobra. Move into locust, just like we did before. So reach back, lift your feet, spread your toes. Stay here. If you would like to take your full floor bow, now is your time. Bend your knees, reach back and grab hold of your feet or your ankles. Kick and pull. Everybody hug in with your inner thighs. See if you can use your mid back muscles to lift your heart higher. One last breath. Good, nice Jamie. End of your exhale, release. I can turn to either side. Big deep breaths into your back body. Windshield wiper shins, shimmy hips. And then your next three or four breaths, however you want to get there, downward facing dog. All right, from dog pose, with your next big inhale, take your right leg to the sky. Open up your hip again, so bend your knee, reach your knee out and up. Stay here or option to flip your dog. So right foot comes down behind you, right arm reaches forward, nice Caleb. Lift through your hips, so press your hips towards the sky, reach your heart forward. One more big inhale all the way down into your low belly. Come back, everybody. Three-legged down dog, right leg high. Pigeon pose, right shin forward. So set your body down gently, right knee towards the outer right edge of your yoga mat. So make sure your right knee is wider than your hip. So you're getting that external rotation. Yeah, good heem. And then pull your right hip back. So like you're plugging the femur bone into the socket as you take your heart forward. Bow. Nice, my keys. And slow, spacious inhale. Slower, longer exhale. All the way to emptiness. So with each exhale, see if you can find something somewhere inside of you, whether it's physical, energetic, emotional, just find something to soften. So how would softening feel inside your body?
Keep your breath there, slow and steady. Anytime you want, open mouth, sigh, ha. Oh. About three to five more rounds. Soften where you can soften. Slowly begin to lift your upper body. We're actually going to come into a seat today. So begin to find your way over onto your right butt cheek. Just let your hips kind of open, back knee bends, and then swing your legs around. And give them a little shake out for a moment. Sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh and allow your hips to open towards the right side of the room. So you're not squaring your hips forward, you're letting them open. Yeah, flex your left toes, perfect. And then sit up really tall, press your foot into your leg, leg back into your foot, left hand on your thigh, right arm to the sky. Reach up, breathe in. And then as you exhale, slide your left hand down your left leg, reach your right arm up and forward towards the front wall. Heart stays open right bicep next to your ear rather than in front of your face. So working that length in your right side, press your foot into your leg, leg back into your foot. Use each exhale to dive deeper, good Patricia. So reaching through your right side, lengthening through your right waistline, right rib cage, soften your face, take one more huge breath. Inhale, right arm to the sky, everything else follows. So lift your torso, lift your left arm. Bring your right hand down behind you, fingers face away from your body. Press down and lift your hips up, reach your left arm back, lengthen your left side. If you want, you can turn this into kind of a modified wild thing, turn your heart to look up. Take one more round, lots of length, lots of space. Now listen, end of your exhale, you're gonna sit your butt back down and kind of swing your upper body around so your left arm comes back behind you. Your right arm reaches forward to grab your left foot, ankle, wherever you can reach. Yeah, good, you guys. So now you're squaring your upper body towards your extended leg. Think of reaching your heart even past your knee. It won't happen, but intend on doing so. Reach your butt back. Heart forward, and then as you exhale, work your fold a little bit deeper, a couple more breaths. Really nice, you guys. End of your exhale, just roll up super, super slowly. Head comes up last. Hands behind you. Feet on the ground with knees bent, about mat width distance apart. Take some windshield wipers with your knees side to side. So going as far as you can to each side. After you've taken a few rounds, we're gonna meet back in down dogs. So you can get back there your own way. It does not have to be anything special. If you want, option to take boat pose. So balancing on your sit bones not rocking back onto your tailbone, which is like the easiest thing to do. Balancing on your sit bones, lifting through your heart, hugging in with your inner thighs. I'm holding on to my thighs as a modification. You can reach your arms forward, or if you're crazy, you can reach your arms overhead. Navel to spine, hug in, breathe. Take about two more. Good, from here, You'll cross your ankles, rock forward. You can step back or jump back. 
move through a vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Reconnect to your breath, slow, steady, spacious. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Open up your hip, so bend your knee, peel it open. Start to feel that mobility there. You can stay here or you can flip your dog. Left foot comes down, left arm reaches forward or left hand can come behind your head if you'd like. So your expression, heart forward, press your hips up. Try to get any flexion, any bend out of the front of your hips. One more breath. Amazing, you guys. End of your exhale, bring it back. Three-legged dog, left leg high, inhale. And then pigeon pose, left shin forward. Set your body down gently. Left knee nice and wide, wider than your hip. Try to spread through your front toes. That will protect all your little tendons and ligaments in your ankle and your knee. So it's like you're pulling your left hip back as you're reaching your heart forward. And then once you're bowing, if you do want to go deeper at any time, just start to scoot your back knee back a little bit further. Big, spacious inhales. Slow, steady exhale. Rather than wandering off, going somewhere else, can you stay? Can you be with discomfort? Can you be with boredom? Can you be with whatever is there for you? Can you just sit with it? Sit with yourself. Sit with the rise and fall of your breath. So in yoga, we practice responding rather than reacting. So reacting would be going into pigeon thinking, oh, I hate this pose, I'm uncomfortable, I'm gonna get out of this, I'm gonna lay down. Not to say that's wrong, but if you go into pigeon, you're like, oh, this doesn't work for me, my hip's not quite right in this position. You move around, you explore it. Oh, I think I might go onto my back, that feels like it might be safer, more skillful for me. You're responding from a place of presence, from a place of love, rather than just reacting out of frustration or anger. What we practice here in each pose on our mat, we take it with us out into the world, out into our life. So when something makes us angry in the moment, rather than reacting, we can pause, we can breathe, we can sit with the discomfort that's coming up for us, the anger that might be coming up for us and choose how we want to respond from a place of love, presence, wisdom. Take about three to five more rounds. Big open mouth size anytime. Sometimes that feels so good, like a rinse or a cleanse, a letting go of stuck energy. Ah. Good, everybody. And then slowly, as you feel just pretty even on both sides, I'll kind of leave it up to you. Start to find your way up and eventually into a seat. Caleb's already there. It's like, old news, Caleb. Okay, shake out your legs. So once you're sitting, just give your legs a little shake out. Then find that tree pose position with your left foot on the inside of your right thigh, allowing your hips to open towards the left wall. So root through your sit bones and then right hand to your right thigh, left arm to the sky. Breathe in and reach up high, flex your right toes. As you exhale, slide your right hand down your right leg, reach your left arm towards the front of the room. So rather than your left arm coming out in front of your face, Bicep next to your ear. 
lengthen your left side, keep your left sit bone rooted, and then reach through your left fingertips. Imagine, and this probably won't happen, but intention is to rotate your heart to look up. Take about two more breaths. So use your big spacious breaths to work the pose to create more space inside. Next inhale, left arm up, everything else follows. So lift your upper body, lift your right arm. Left hand behind you, fingers face away. Press down, lift your hips up, reach your right arm back. So right side now, really, really long. Maybe you even open your heart to look up. One more big deep breath if you want. Exhale, lion's breath, stick out your tongue. Ah, good. And then sit bones come down. It's like our ninja move. We're gonna sweep our upper body over, right hand behind us, left hand grabs your right foot, ankle, shin. So work your upper body, your torso square over your front leg as much as you're able to. Pull your right butt cheek back, reach your heart forward. Really nice, everybody. Couple more rounds. Use your exhales to dive deeper. End of your next exhale, just super slowly roll it up. And then both legs out in front of you. Take it all the way down onto your back. Windshield wipers on your back this time. So feet on the ground, knees bent, feet mat width distance apart, wider than your hips. Tee out your arms or cactus your arms. Let your knees fall from side to side. So this is one of those postures it can be super restorative, super passive, or it can actually be very active. So if you flex your toes, you actively press your top knee forward and down, press down through the backs of your ribs. There's a lot you can feel. There's a lot you can get out of this posture if you just pay more attention. After a few rounds, let your knees rest to the right side. Option to bring the outer edge of your right foot, the outside of your left knee. So with your right leg, you'll encourage your left knee forward and down. If the back of your left ribs lift a lot, that's okay, but intend on pressing down through the backs of your ribs. So try to work them just a little bit closer. And then after a few rounds on this side, just switch to the other side. And then when you feel pretty even on both sides, no rush, come back to the center, find a happy baby pose. So give yourself a moment, just kind of rocking it out, maybe even stretching one leg out long and then the other, both at the same time if that's available to you. And then about 10 to 15 breaths, you guys. Any other poses you want to take, any finishing movements you want to explore. And if that means going straight into your Shavasana, that is perfectly fine with me. So as you make your transition, I will read to you. This is by my favorite, Jeff Foster, of course. And it's called Walking with Joy. Sometimes you become so mesmerized by the goal 
the destination, the future, the place you should be, that you forget the present ground, the place where you stand, the place from which you will take the next step, the place where life is. You forget that you are breathing now and that the journey is made only of breaths, moments. You forget your own presence, so solid, so trustworthy, so constant amidst the constant change of the journey. The destination has become more important than presence and you have become lost in time. Joy is not a place you reach. Joy will not appear magically on the completion of your journey. Joy lives only in presence. Joy's home is called now. Joy is there in every step taken or not taken. Joy is there in the sense of being alive the belly rising and falling, the pounding of the heart. Whether you are lost or far from your destination or unsure about your next step, joy is there walking with you, breathing down your neck, willing you on. So in this present moment, this place where joy lives. Allow yourself for these last couple moments to just let yourself feel it moving through you. The joy of just simply being alive, feeling the rise and fall of each breath and knowing that right here in this moment, right now, Everything is profoundly okay. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in. And let it go. Just bring gentle movement back into your physical body. And as you're ready, roll to either side, fetal position. Eventually just curling into yourself, this nurturing pose. As you lay here on your side, just give all your weight to the ground. And imagine some sort of feminine energy just enveloping you, wrapping her arms around you and allow yourself for a moment to just feel nurtured, to feel held, to feel supported. And then using the strength in your arms, guide yourself up into seated meditation. So just sit up nice and tall, facing towards the front of your mat, the front of our space. Exhale in your breath. And one last time, sweep your arms to the sky and just symbolically gather in anything that came through for you in your practice today. Bring it all into your heart, hands to heart. And then bow your head to your heart and acknowledge yourself for showing up. Taking time out of your day to roll out your mat, tune into your body, listen to your breath and connect with yourself in a deeper way. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, always welcome to ask. Um, yeah, you're the best. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Maybe uh, I, I should say, I'll say I have a couple of retreats that I've just um, added on my website if you haven't checked them out yet. Um, so Mexico is happening in August and it's just, it's a three hour flight. So it's an easy, it's a direct flight. Um, COVID stuff is... There's no requirements for Mexico. The only thing you would have to do is get a test before you get back into the U.S. And then, um, so that's in August, beginning of August. Then I have Morocco in October, which I'm super excited about. It's yoga and it's like a full on like tour. So we're starting in one place and we're going to all these different places ending back up. So we're starting in Marrakesh, like the capital city and then going to the desert and then coming back. So I'm really excited about that one. And then next year, I already had Thailand, the second week of March that's been rescheduled for like the last forever since 2020. But I also added the week before a sailing one in Thailand. So it's on a catamaran and we'll go to different islands every day. So, you know, while I was over there, just thought, why not? <laughs> so they're all on my website if you're interested. You can always ask me. I'd love to have you home. Hi, mom, I love you.